Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we will be discussing the Ethiopia Bombay Natural from Onyx. And there's the box right there. All right, so a little bit about this coffee. So it was featured in my blind taste test video, and it took home first place on that day. Now, one thing I wanted to say about this coffee was, even though it's having a really good day, I don't think that this was my favorite of those five coffees. The more I got to try all of them. This coffee started off extremely well, and given that that was the first time I had tried all three of those Onyx coffees, everything was kind of subject to change. The Chantuini Natural was my favorite of the coffees that I purchased from Onyx in that little order. As time changed, this one got slightly worse, and then the other Onyx got significantly better. It's not to say that this one was a bad coffee. I actually quite enjoyed this Ethiopia, and it probably has a spot in my top five, top ten Ethiopias of the year. Still a pretty nice coffee, and here we are on day 16 with this last cup of coffee. All right, let's go ahead and talk about it. So, day seven, I had a magnificent first impression. A lot of strawberries and tropical fruits dominating this cup as well. It was really well, well balanced with some lovely florals. On day nine, not abundantly flavorful that day. There was some lingering floral finish and a light bit of apple at the start. Day 11, really prominent strawberry florals and the coffee was a bit zesty, was how I'd describe it. And then it was pretty acidic and I think it was kind of the apple acidity, kind of an apple acidic face. And I'm not the biggest fan of overly acidic coffees for whatever that's worth. And I think that maybe the reason I liked the other one better was because it was less acidic than this coffee. Day 14, when I made my tasting wheel, it had a very crisp kind of apple cider acidity, lingering strawberry finish, and some hidden peach, very prominent florals. Fruits were getting a lot more prominent too as the cup of coffee cools down. And as I'm drinking it on day 16, the apple is very, very prominent. As time passes, the apple becomes a lot more abundant, a lot more clear, and a lot more crisp in a sense. So really one for the apple-loving coffee enthusiasts. I'll go ahead and put up the tasting wheel right now. And you'll see what I was getting. Not the sweetest, but pretty darn sweet. Um, high lingering, high florality, and high berry for the strawberry, but I think the one thing I wanted to focus on was the acidity of this coffee. Almost tempted to put it at level five, the highest rating I've ever had for any coffee I've reviewed because pretty close. It probably is the most acidic coffee I've reviewed up until this point, and there wasn't a whole lot of anything else. Not a bunch of chocolatiness, not, a, not overly bitter, not overly smoky. Getting a little more smokiness today than when I did this flavor wheel, definitely not the cleanest cup of coffee. And some subtle other fruits, stone fruit, citric fruit, but definitely the strawberry was the most prominent thing and as time has changed, very, very apple coffee. So I think looking back on this, I think this definitely does finish third in that blind taste test. It's definitely better than the other Ethiopia, the Big Kid Candy and the Camber in my opinion. But I really did enjoy the Chantuini as time passed, and the Strawberry Sunday, the Buriti from Luna, was especially at its peak. Probably one of my favorite Ethiopias of the year as well. That's not a knock on this coffee. I think I was really fortunate in that these three naturals were some of the best naturals I've had all year. A lot of me kind of knocking this coffee in some sort of sense comes down to the fact that I'm not a huge apple person and I'm not the biggest acidity person. I do like my coffee to be vibrant, fruity, floral with less acidity. So who would I recommend this coffee to? Pretty easy I would say. People that do like their apple crispness. Something that's... I think if such a thing existed where you had maybe a strawberry apple cider, like since I'm in Seattle and apple cider is very much a thing, I know that there are a lot of apple ciders that have some strawberry taste to it, kind of blending the flavors together. It's very much what you get, and it's quite enjoyable actually. I'm really enjoying this final day of this coffee. I would actually buy a second bag of this coffee too. It's a really great cup of coffee for whatever that's worth, but I'm going to leave it at that. 
If you've tried this coffee, please let me know what you thought of it as well. I'm a big fan. If you're enjoying the content, like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. But this right here has been a discussion of the Ethiopia Bombay Natural from Onyx. Thank you for watching.